On November 23rd, 1973, the landscape of mentalism changed forever when a young Israeli, Yuri Geller, changed the game by taking a borrowed spoon and causing it to slowly bend, apparently with the power of his mind. Since that day, Geller has ardently claimed there's no trickery to what he does. But of course, magicians and mentalists have passionately recreated his effects. Until today, there hasn't been a complete review of how he turned a seemingly simple trick into a worldwide sensation. Ben Harris has followed Geller's story since that very day in 1973, and has since become close friends with Yuri. Besides Geller himself, there's nobody more qualified to tell us why this phenomenon captured the attention of the entire world. Bend It Like Geller is part history, part technique, and part review of why we should all be bending metal. Hi, it's Paul here from Vanish Magic Magazine. Today we are going to be having a look at Bend It Like Geller by Ben Harris. This book was just released. It's the most incredibly gorgeous book, first of all, when you get it. Uh, uh, this has a new book smell, which I absolutely love about uh, love about any new book. But this is a really important book because it was 50 years ago that uh, Uri Geller bent the uh, spoon on public television in the UK, and it had it changed um, mentalism, it changed magic forever. Uh, spoon bending became well, it is now very common. It got to the point where people, if you did even magic now, you say you're a magician, they always say they say, oh, watch my wallet, or can you bend a spoon? Uh, it's so developed into our pop culture and our psyche uh, that, and, and it was one man, Yuri Geller, that changed that and that did that. And this book celebrates those 50 years. Ben Harris uh, recollects uh, his his uh, 50 years, uh, his, his, um, his story about how he remembers seeing it on TV. He was a at an age where he, he, he understood it and, and he would go around looking for spoons and things and he would find bent spoons. I remember too uh, in New Zealand growing up that uh, the same thing happened to me. I remember going into the drawer after Yuri was on television, some, one of those TV shows, and sure enough I found that bent spoon and I, I was hooked from that point on. So a very similar to story, uh, people about my age and, and Ben's age, uh, certainly this, we all have the same story. We saw it, we, we found those spoons or bent keys and uh, that got us hooked. And certainly, this is a celebration of of, uh, of Uri Geller bending spoons 50 years ago. So the book itself is, as you can see, it's a, it's a, certainly a substantial book. It's nice and heavy. It's beautifully produced. It's put out by Vanishing Ink. And I'm just going to go through it quickly, of course. Uh, but you can see beautiful photographs. I mean, just amazing, gorgeous photographs in here. The history is all in here. Now, the book is actually in chronological order. So, in other words, he talks about right at the very beginning, starting right back. Uh, also, great illustrations as well. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Uh, going right back here. It starts at the very beginning and, and goes all the way through the history of spoon bending. You'll get all the different techniques of spoon bending. Everybody is in here, uh, all the different techniques. Uh, there's some really, really great articles, essays. Ben has done so much research. So much has gone into producing this book that for me, this is the compendium of, of, uh, of, of bending uh, spoons or keys. You'll find different methods. You'll find all the methods we know that have been out there before, all the basic method, methods. And even, it, as I said, it, you have to read from the very beginning of the book to the end because he takes us through a journey of where it was the very first time to where it is now. And the very first time it was published um, in, as a gag, really. Just, it wasn't even developed into anything. It was just a gag way back. And Uri Gallick was Uri that took it and, and made it what it is today. And Ben and others talk about why why is it that there's very few things, maybe two things, a levitation that people will remember and a spoon bending or key bending. Why is it that after 50 years, it's the one thing that people always ask and always remember? And it's, uh, they, I think the secret, and it's mentioned in the book, is Uri is charismatic, but it's more than that. But certainly um, that's part of his charm. And, and what you're going to get from this book is not just how to learn how to bend objects like a spoon or a key, but you're also going to learn some invaluable t tips and techniques if you read really carefully. Read what others have written and read some of Ben's comments because you can take these ideas and maybe apply them to something else. Uh, what else can you apply that has meaning and, and that sort of impact? 
uh, how can you use that approach that Yuri did uh, into your own material? So that's really, for me, the takeaway of this is there's more in this book than just the ending objects. There's something else that, there's a secret in here that makes this, uh, takes something like that and makes it so powerful that it's, as I said, it's become pop culture. Now, Vanish Magazine is, uh, I've always, uh, we've, we've done interviews, we've done specials on Uri Gala, we've covered him, uh, and he's always said that the secret, he believes, of the next biggest thing in magic will be somebody that does something that's never been done before. And that's really hard to think about. But if you could imagine that you could control, for example, the weather, you can control the sun, the, the weather, that's something that's not really been done before. But the person that does that through some sort of magical ability, perhaps, is, is going to be the next big thing. Just like Uri was the very first person on television to bend these these objects. And and he's, his whole life has been based around doing the, the impossible. So finding the next big thing is, is going to make somebody a real superstar because we really haven't had anyone like him since doing something, one thing like that. And this book really is a celebration. Um, you know, I think we all have to, uh, magicians and mentalists, have a huge debt of gratitude to Uri. And he talks about James Randi as well, which is interesting because Uri himself will tell you that his biggest publicist was James Randi. The more that James Randi pushed and uh, against uh, Uri, the bigger the publicity got. If it wasn't for James Randi, there probably, there, there possibly wouldn't be the Uri Geller that we have today, who is such a huge superstar. Even today, people know who he is and he's still relevant today. He's in every newspaper, no matter what goes on in the world. I know recently, uh, that, that that big uh, ship tanker ship was stuck in the canal and uh, Uri got front page headlines by saying that he was able to help uh, move it by slightly bending it. It's incredible. No matter what happens in the world, he's got an angle for it. So we can learn a lot. You know, we are artists and uh, we, we are self-promoters. If you want to be successful, you have to self-promote. So this book is a real eye-opener into a lot of things, an eye-opener certainly into a little bit about Uri Geller, but uh, I think some of the articles in here from people that really know him well, and they all say the same thing. He's a likable guy and um, very charismatic, and that definitely comes through in the articles in the book. Uh, ben Harris, huge kudos to Ben Harris, huge uh, shout-out to Ben for producing this Beautiful, beautiful publication. It really is, uh, I mean, you know, everybody's in here. Peter Turner's in here. Um, you know, so it goes back to some of the uh, some of the early earlier people who were influenced by Uri Geller, Richard Osterland, uh, to contemporaries like um, uh, Pete Turner and so on. Obviously, Banachek has a part in here. It's just full of, full of information, full of facts. It's one of the most beautiful books I'm going to have in my library. I'm super proud to have this. Uh, ben Harris has done a great job. Vanishing Inc. Uh, are really leading the way. I think they've taken book production to a whole new level. So this is uh, one of their best books I've seen. They, they produce the most incredible books. And this to me is, is an absolutely gorgeous book uh, Vanishing Inc. have produced. So do I recommend this book? Absolutely. Who's going to benefit from this book? I think we all will benefit, whether you, you bend spoons or not. If you already bend spoons, you should actually, you should seriously own this book because there's insights and techniques in here that you may not be aware of. It has the history of it all. Um, and if you're new to magic, I think this would be a great uh, read because it shows you the development of something over 50 years of where it was to where it is now. Uh, so there's, you know, there's very few things in magic and mentalism, I think, that have such an impact or had an impact uh, on our business, our work, as much as being able to bend metal with your mind. So the new book, Bend It Like Gala, very highly recommended. Can't recommend it enough, actually. It's a brilliant book. I would definitely get this book before it goes out of print.